For a patient with kidney failure or certain other conditions, dialysis can take over for the kidneys, removing wastes and balancing fluid, electrolyte, and acid base levels. This procedure may occur through hemodialysis or peritoneal dialysis. Hemodialysis typically requires long-term vascular access through an arteriovenous, or AV, fistula or graft. An AV fistula is a direct connection made surgically between an artery and a vein. An AV graft is an indirect connection, usually with tubing, between an artery and a vein. In hemodialysis, blood is pumped out of the artery, through the fistula or graft, and into a dialyzer. There, blood and dialysate, or dialyzing solution, flow across a semi-permeable membrane in an enclosed container. This semi-permeable membrane lets urea and other wastes move from the blood into the dialysate. This movement takes place by diffusion because of the difference in their concentrations. The semi-permeable membrane also allows excess water to move from the blood into the dialysate. The membrane also lets electrolytes move in either direction, as needed. This movement also takes place by osmosis because of the differences in their osmolarities. For example, sodium and potassium usually move out of the blood, and calcium and bicarbonate usually move into it. Throughout hemodialysis, fresh dialysate is drawn into the dialyzer and used dialysate is drained off. At the same time, the hemodialysis machine returns the filtered or cleaned blood to the body. The needles are removed when the dialysis is complete. Peritoneal dialysis requires surgical placement of a rubber catheter into the abdominal cavity. The catheter is connected to inflow and outflow tubing with a Y connector. The inflow tubing is connected to a dialysate bag and the outflow tube is connected to a drainage bag. Peritoneal dialysis occurs in exchange cycles. Each cycle has three phases. In the infusion, or fill phase, one to two liters of dialysate infuse by gravity into the peritoneal space. In the dwell phase, the dialysate stays in the cavity for a specified time. Here, the vascular peritoneum acts as a semi-permeable membrane, allowing the exchange of wastes, fluids, and electrolytes through osmosis, diffusion, and filtration. In the outflow, or drain phase, the used dialysate flows out of the body by gravity into a drainage bag. The duration, number, and frequency of peritoneal dialysis exchanges vary with the patient's condition.